If you are not using AI tools every day of your life, you're making a huge mistake. Ever wondered if artificial intelligence could be the long-awaited game changer? Is A, the electricity of the 21st century, unlocking tools to tackle colossal challenges? Now, envision AI as an inseparable part of our lives, from healthcare to community services. But here's the twist, is it a magic fix? or does its impact depend on our usage? Join us as we unravel Gary Vee's belief in the permanence of artificial intelligence. Could this be the force we need, or are we merely scratching the surface? Stick around as we dive deep into the future of AI, and you won't want to miss a thing. Let's explore Gary's insights into AI's transformative role in medicine. Gary emphasizes that AI is a robust tool akin to a powerhouse providing potential to tackle substantial challenges, not a magical solution. How does Gary envision A addressing healthcare disparities? He stresses it's not a panacea, but how we wield its power matters. Picture this, I making an impact on healthcare delivery, enhancing capabilities in underserved areas. Can I be the key to improving healthcare access? The potential is there, but it's up to us to design systems utilizing AI for quality care. Stay tuned as we unravel Gary Vee's perspective on A's potential, avoiding the illusion of magic. Gary envisions AI seamlessly integrating into daily lives, a game changer across sectors. The intrigue lies in wielding this technological power responsibly. Picture doctors leveraging AI to elevate patient care and community workers receiving support for more effective service delivery. How can I be an ally in improving service quality for everyone? The answer lies in our hands. AI has the potential to address accessibility challenges, not as a magic solution, but by understanding how to make it work for us. As A permeates society, Gary emphasizes augmenting service providers' capabilities, whether rural health workers or community support personnel. Enhancing their skills through AI is the goal. Consider a scenario where a vast population struggles to access highly trained healthcare providers. Gary prompts us to contemplate how AI can bridge this gap without overshadowing the human touch but complementing it. While excitement around AI is undeniable, Gary grounds us, highlighting that its real impact depends on responsible and thoughtful implementation. The challenge is clear, design systems with the improvement of human well-being in mind. Gary's excitement about AI radiates through his words, emphasizing the need for constructing AI systems with purpose and responsibility. AI won't be a magical fix, but its true power lies in thoughtful integration. Using A to enhance quality of care, from healthcare to community services, empowers those without access to highly trained professionals. Gary urges caution, emphasizing A's impact depends on designing systems prioritizing ethical and meaningful use. How do we ensure A becomes a force for good? Gary hints at the answer, approaching it as a tool with immense potential, waiting for us to shape its impact responsibly. In the captivating journey of Gary V's tech evolution, let's rewind to the digital landscape of 2012 when VaynerMedia was in its infancy. Skeptics doubted platforms like Twitter, foreseeing their demise within a year. The narrative took an unexpected turn. Fast forward to 2023, and Gary finds himself at Cannes Lions, engaging in a conversation with Marco. Who is Marco? Marco steers the Salesforce Emerging Tech Studio, venturing from Web3 to the transformative realm of AI with Fortune 500 clients. Now, ponder Gary's metamorphosis from VaynerMedia to Salesforce, shaping his perspective on AI. The transition from a digital maverick to interviewing tech legends at Cannes Lions speaks volumes. As Gary probes Marco, unraveling how these experiences painted Gary V's beliefs on the enduring impact of AI becomes the essence. It's a journey laden with twists, turns, and tech wisdom. Meet Marco, a trailblazer navigating the intersection of technology and marketing, formerly the chief marketing officer at Samsung and currently steering Salesforce into the AI first frontier. Marco's journey carries the weight of experience from globally renowned brands like Unilever and Coca-Cola. Imagine the insights gained, not just from leading global marketing, but also from witnessing the evolution from Web 1 to Web 3. 
What can we glean from the transition from traditional marketing to embracing A's potential in shaping the future? Marco's career trajectory sparks curiosity about the challenges and strategies that led to success in this ever-changing landscape. Unraveling the layers of Marco's professional voyage, we find ourselves on the brink of understanding how AI is a transformative force through the lens of someone in the trenches. Valuable lessons from Marco's experiences and how he sees the fusion of AI and marketing shaping the narrative of the future are explored. In the ever-evolving marketing landscape, Gary V and Marco delve into a pivotal question, how has marketing transformed across eras? From the early days of the internet, known as Web1, to the social and mobile era of Web2, and now transitioning into the domain of artificial intelligence, the journey has been a roller coaster. Marco sheds light on missteps by major brands during these technological shifts, emphasizing the delicate balance required between existing business operations and future-proofing strategies. The giants of the business world, the Fortune 500 companies, can glean lessons from these experiences. As the conversation unfolds, secrets to successful navigation through changes become apparent, offering a glimpse into the evolving role of marketing in the digital age. It's not just about embracing new technologies, it's about harnessing innovations to transcend traditional marketing confines. In the corporate realm, Marco highlights an enduring challenge, the delicate dance between existing business norms and safeguarding against uncertainties of the future. Navigating this terrain, companies often grapple with digital skepticism and the fear of sacrificing creativity for uniformity. Striking a balance becomes paramount. How can companies embrace the evolving digital landscape without succumbing to monotony that follows widespread adoption? Inter I, the silent catalyst for change. Its role is not just transformative, it's revolutionary. Marco's journey from chief marketing officer, CMO, to an AI pioneer reshapes the corporate playbook. According to him, the conventional CMO model is showing its age, advocating for an AI first strategy. This shift goes beyond marketing, it's about serving every corner of the C-suite. So, how does I facilitate this transformation? The answer lies in augmenting intelligence to unforeseen levels, challenging perceptions of what's possible. Marco's vision is clear, AI isn't a luxury, it's a necessity for survival in the ever-evolving business landscape. By embracing an AI-first mindset, companies can adapt, innovate, and stay ahead of the curve. It's not just a shift in roles, it's a cultural revolution. The story unfolds as we delve into the nuances of this transition, exploring the boundless potential AI brings to the table. Discover the Unilever Foundry, a groundbreaking project under Marco's leadership. This initiative bridged the gap between established brands and innovative ideas, functioning as a catalyst for creativity and risk-taking in marketing. Picture a platform where brands could swiftly move from pitching ideas to experimenting, all at an affordable cost. How did this initiative change the game for marketers? It provided a rapid pathway, allowing brands to test new marketing strategies without committing extensive resources or time. It was about breaking the mold, encouraging marketers to take risks without the fear of monumental investments. This wasn't just about experimenting, it was about transforming the mindset of marketers, instilling courage to embrace new ways of doing things. Think of it as a fast track to innovation, an opportunity for brands to step out of their comfort zones and taste possibilities without the weight of massive budgets or prolonged timelines. In the realm of marketing, Marco sheds light on the unique role of TV ads in shaping a brand's identity. According to him, these 30-second snippets serve a crucial purpose, crystallizing a brand's value proposition. Imagine them as a quick elevator pitch, distilling the essence of a brand into a concise message. Marco delves into the fascinating history of Coca-Cola, hinting that the iconic I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing campaign might have started as an internal message before captivating external audiences. He then shifts to his experience at Samsung, where he collaborated with visionaries like Casey Maystadt to strike a balance between traditional advertising and contemporary storytelling. This reveals an interesting tug of war between advertising formats, showcasing the tension between tried and true methods and avant-garde approaches. 
So how do TV ads, often hailed for their simplicity, become a powerful tool for brand building? Marco's insights suggest that beyond their airtime, these ads function as a crystallization point, distilling a brand's core for the world to see. As we unravel the intricate web of artificial intelligence with Gary B and industry expert Marco, the journey doesn't end here, it's just the beginning. If you found these insights mind-boggling, imagine what lies ahead in the ever-evolving landscape of AI. Curiosity sparked? Dive deeper into the world of tech and innovation by hitting that subscribe button. Don't keep this wealth of knowledge to yourself, share it with your friends who love exploring the future. The like button is just a click away. Let it be known if this script left you wanting more. And of course, the notification bell is your key to staying ahead in the conversation. What's next? The future awaits, and you're invited. Stay tuned for more thought-provoking discussions. Like, share, and subscribe, because the journey into the unknown is always better when we take it together.